Okay everyone, I know some of you have had trouble with the origami just with the instructions which is understandable. So here is just a brief demo of both pieces because the box is a follow on from the houses anyway. Um, but as I said, we may not have got it because it got axed didn't it, the house is a is perfectly okay for your activity to, to get it ticked off on your activity card as a simple bit of origami so if you want to stop at the house that's fine if you want to carry on and do the box then go for it um, but just the house is perfectly sufficient and thank you for those we've already had okay so your first fold is going to come over halfway try and make the edges match up and make those creases nice and tight because it works so much better like that okay and then you fold over right to left exactly the same way try and get the edges nice and together until you've got a square and you open that square out again back to your rectangle and fold each edge into the middle into that folded line in the middle and fold out again fold the other side in and fold out again so you've now got your rectangle with four three clear fold lines dividing the paper into four sections now each top corner you fold in to the first line to make a triangle on both sides so you're going to end up with a barn sort of shape okay and now that triangle that you've just folded you're going to open out that flap and push down so you make a house shape on that side and then do exactly the same open that flap out but push down on the triangle so that you get a roof so then there you go you've got your semi-detached houses you can put windows and doors on draw some birds on the roof if you want whatever you like that is sufficient as a simple bit of origami to tick you off for your um, my world activity on this particular thing but if you want to go on and tackle the box which is a bit more complicated then you have to hang on a minute i've got to find the instructions for the second bit holding house long box here we go long box it's called so you start with your house you've got as far as that you could just carry on um so you unfold the middle flaps again so you go back to to your barn shape but then fold out just half of that flap to its first line so you fold back out so you're going to end up with two little houses on the end and a big square in the middle okay right now you turn your whole thing over and do the same on the other side and there we go so you've now got a barn shape looks like you've got half the door open 
okay so the just one layer you're going to fold up now you should have the the edges of the paper at the bottom there so one layer you're going to fold up to meet the top of those roofs don't go over them because it'll make it difficult to make the box so you meet the top of your roofs and then you turn it over again and do the same on the other side just to meet the line where those what looks like the roofs are so that when you open it out into the box and then you twizzle it round so you've got the openings opposite you now instead of okay now you simply and well do you want to do that first yeah so you now fold up again that those two sides so that the edges are going to be nice and firm so you've doubled up those folds and then you just just she says open it out and as you push that triangle out the, the, what used to be what we were calling the roofs turn into the ends it doesn't need a bit of pushing because you haven't actually got a crease line you sort of have to make a crease line there and then those edges meant to fold over the top but they don't really stay so this is where I used a bit of sellotape and again I've forgotten to get the sellotape and I haven't got my example box oh I have got my example box sitting around hang on just a moment here we go this is my example from last time I obviously did the other way around I've got a, in, a purple inside on this one but if you can see those if you tape those put a little bit of sticky tape you're not meant to officially with origami but it does hold those sides down because otherwise they're a bit flappy as you can see um, if you can manage to do it I mean it looks quite nice with the edges out like that gives you a bit of a handle I suppose um, and if you can manage to do it with a slightly thicker paper doesn't hurt your hands then that might be quite steady but either way around it will take um, a few little biscuits or make some shortbreads maybe or do another batch of Rocky Road or something like that okay guys so there you go two long boxes but as I say the house you start the whole thing with the house anyway and the house is perfectly sufficient if you don't want to go on and do the trickier bit um, the house is perfectly sufficient okay so I hope that helps I look forward to getting more um, pictures from from some of you and I will see you on the 1st of June and who knows whether anyone will be back in school I'm guessing you guys won't um, because you're not in the year groups they're talking about at the moment. But anyway, have a good holiday and I'll see you in June. Bye.